Hey, what's up, guys? Purple Gym Live Sports. Back here for some more NBA talk. <clears throat> so, you know, I don't come here to bash people or to make people feel bad for the things they say because ultimately we are entitled to an opinion in life. Ultimately, we should not always care about what other people think because once we do that, we are we are officially, you know, throwing our lives away for somebody else's opinion or other people's, you know, sometimes in my opinions instead of going off of how we feel and how we think we should live for ourselves. Uh, that being said, when a player on the New York Knicks who hasn't even played a game in, the, in, in a New York Knicks uniform says that they for sure will make the playoffs this year, that just immediately crosses the line. You're stepping over. You're stepping out of bounds. You're saying things that that to me are just utterly ridiculous. So first off, his name is Bobby Portis. I think he played for the Chicago Bulls and the Washington Wizards last year. Uh, he's a guy who can shoot the three. He can rebound. Don't know much about him defensively. Uh, so that tells you a lot of like guys who play defense. If I don't know about you or your defensive capabilities, then I guess we have a problem. So. Uh, but for the but the fact that you're saying that you for sure make the playoffs is it's just it's just very disrespectful because the East, as people many people say it's weak, but to me there is always a consensus of maybe eight or nine teams that will make the playoffs every year in the East, and the Knicks are not one of those teams at all, and the fact that just because you got signed to this team you signed a slew of veterans, uh, Julius Randle who's not that bad. Um, signed Bobby Portis, who I was just talking about. He's the guy who said they're going to make the playoffs. Utterly ridiculous. They just signed Reggie Bullock, who's coming off of back surgery. Uh, who else did they sign? Yeah, they signed some pretty forgettable people. Like, I don't really mean to be this disrespectful, but this is this is what it is. They also just signed Marcus Morris, who's pretty respectable. Uh, but in all in all truth, it, it's, it is what it is. The reason why you the reason why the Knicks don't make the playoffs is because they, they you just they just don't have good players. They can't attract free agents because nobody likes the owner of the New York Knicks. Nobody likes James Dolan because he I think people want him to sell the team, but he banned a fan for saying he should sell the team because of his opinion was you're not being a very great owner. You're kind of you're you're not really doing what an owner is supposed to do for a team or governor. People like to call them governors or owners. I don't like really give a damn about that. But I think what ha- what needs to happen for the Knicks is that the owner for James Dolan just needs to be, just needs to show more care, needs to do a better job. I don't know how he's going to do that, but he's got to he's got to win over the fans again, got to win over the players. Because just to be frank, I don't think anybody. And then saying that you you know when it came out that they weren't even going to give Kevin Durant an interview. That's when I really lost it. So, here's what will have to happen. First off, is it impossible? No, it is not impossible for the Knicks to make the playoffs. Let me just say that right now. It is highly unlikely because the players that they have, they have a lot of forwards. They have good rim protection in Mitchell Robinson. They have some pretty good... mm, they have some pretty good average players on their team. They have really they have a lot of good average players. They have I really like RJ Barrett. I think that was that that's a great pick that they made. They don't have a point guard. They don't even have a they don't even have an average point guard. I think they also signed Alfred Payton. That doesn't really help you too much. Um they don't have they don't really have the assets to trade for a point guard. If if I was the Knicks I, I make play at trying to get Chris Paul, but they're not going to do that because Chris Paul has one of the worst contracts in the NBA, especially for his age. We already know he's not very durable. But if it's me and you want to make, you know, the Knicks, you know, look like a, a, a great destination is you go get Chris Paul, you win him over, you treat him the way you're supposed to treat a superstar, even though he's not a superstar anymore. And then you can try to win over for agents that way because... 2021 is another great class of free agents. I think LeBron is going to be available that year. Maybe not. I really forget. Uh, Anthony Davis. Wait, no. Anthony Davis is available next year unless he opts into his contract. Yeah, you got Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron, I think. Um, good free agent class in 2021. 
What the Knicks need to do is kind of just wait for that year because I like what they did this year. They signed for agents mostly to two-year contracts that are guaranteed for only two years, and then they're waiting for that year to really, you know, win over free agents. But they just, to me, they have to wait for that time. But, you know, just... God, I'm really come. It's really almost impossible. I can't really come up with anything for me to really believe that they can make the playoffs. I just don't see it. They don't have enough talent, and and another problem is they don't have any perimeter defense. They really don't. You can be a great rim protecting team all you want. If you can't stop guys from just popping up threes at the three point line, then what good use to you are me? I mean, what use to you? What what use to me are you? I mean, honestly. This league now more than ever is really driven by perimeter defense. Why are teams like Golden State, uh, a Kawhi Leonard team, any team that Kawhi Leonard's been on has been a great perimeter defensive team? That's just the truth of it. If you really want to be a great team, then you got to be able to balance it out with good rim protection and perimeter defense. The only thing that's really going for the for the Knicks is that they have really good rim protection. They're they're a solid rebounding team. But beyond that, they don't have anything else. They don't have really any great scores. I do like Kevin Knox a lot. I think if him and RJ can mesh well at the three and the four, then to me that's gonna be a, a that's gonna be a combo that's gonna work for years to come. But there's nothing else for me to really go off of. I don't really trust anything else. So if I'm really telling you anything at all that's of importance, is that don't trust when you're a player who hasn't played in the uniform for a team, I'm just going to say this. This is like something you should know. You should really go out and just prove it. You know, you can always state what you believe. You know, if, if you're on a good team and you know it, then then saying things like that, you know, LeBron in AD saying that the, the, the Lakers will make the playoffs, well, barring injury, there's no way in hell you should not make the playoffs unless you just can't make shots all year, which is definitely impossible because of all the great shoes that they have on the roster. They have a lot of great talent. Defensively is my only question. But going out and saying definitively the Knicks for sure will make the playoffs, you gotta go out and prove it. I don't I don't because this team has has been for years consecutively terrible, 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 terrible. And the fact that they haven't been, they've been so terrible that they've been terrible at getting draft picks that they want to get. You can't even you haven't even gotten a top three draft pick except for this year for all the years that they've been terrible. So you're not even helping your freaking case, okay? So, I think it's going to do it for this video. I, I, I've officially had with, with players just saying things out of the blue for no freaking reason. So, But uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Once again, players, go out and prove it first, okay? Perfect Dream Live Sports. See you guys in my next video.